Hi guys, welcome back to more PES 5 Master League. Welcome to Craven Cottage for today's game on a very sunny uh, afternoon. So yeah, welcome. And uh, yeah, Matthew, the captain today, who's coming out and leading us onto the field. And uh, yeah, we have got uh, the big Champions League game against Bayern Munich in the next episode. So uh, yes, the team is rotated once more for that purpose. And uh, yeah, luckily enough though, we're playing Fulham who are in a relegation position. They're currently 15th in the league. And I believe next week in the league, we've got uh, Birmingham who are 16th. So we've got the bottom two teams. So it's kind of a perfect time to play them um, as it's worked out so that's not too bad however we've still got to play these games and win and uh, we changed the team up against um, Wigan in the uh, in the last league game but we managed to do pretty well so uh, hopefully can continue some decent run of form in the league there but uh, yeah Robinho is playing this one uh, so is uh, Robin who is here right now and uh, yeah um, Babel up front with Schwartz, so a little bit of a change up front. And uh, here is Babel, and Van Dijk is playing this one. He's going to pop the ball in. It doesn't make um, Schwartz there. He didn't uh, find him, and uh, here comes John. But uh, no pushover team, because I think wasn't didn't we draw to Fulham earlier this season? Didn't didn't we? Wasn't it a draw? Um, something like that. So. You know, <laughs> we don't want to take it uh, lightly today. I do not want to do that. I don't want to make that mistake. Czech is going to play today, though, even though he's pretty much going to be playing in the um, the uh, Champions League in the uh, next match. So uh, usually we switch the goalkeeper as well, but we're not going to do it for this one today. So I don't know. Maybe like Ramon or Marshall might get a game um, against uh, Birmingham in the next league game potentially but uh, until that comes we won't know yet so uh, yeah Van Dijk with the foul there so get some game time because obviously a cup tying uh, Van Dijk and uh, Robin and Robinho um, so yeah they are not going to be playing in the Champions League uh, here is Schwartz, and uh, I can't pick out Babel which would have been a, a good opportunity there and Robinho won't keep the ball in either is Jensen. That's going all the way back to the keeper here, which is uh, something... Oh, Carini played a dodgy game there. A very dodgy game. <laughs> yeah, something you don't always want to do that. But, uh, yeah. Here is Rubinho. Here's Schwartz. Uh, Schwartz is going to play in... Uh, Robin, nearly playing Robin. I should at least say. And uh, the ball is going to go forward to Bupadiop here, who is uh, trying to run down the left-hand side currently, but it's going to be taken away by Mafio. Here is Fabregas. Oh, yeah, I don't think I mentioned Fabregas is playing this one. Uh, at the back, we have got, I believe, Heitinger, um, Company, and uh, Cafu as well. So, uh, yeah. And a uh, good ball to Schwartz. This is a good opportunity. Schwartz... It's ah, uh, it's nobody in the end. Chance gone offside there by uh, Helgerson, and uh, the free kick given to Liverpool there. Not the only time it's been uh, sunny at this venue, I believe. I believe we came here in season four, and I believe it was the similar kind of thing. And I think it was it Cal Strom who got the winner in that game, I believe. Oh, close on the edge of the box, that one check boots away. And I think it was only a 1-0 victory, if I remember. We were really struggling to get some decent results back then. We, ju we just didn't have it together that season. Uh, I could say it a million times. Here's Babble! Oh, yes! Babble! With the opening goal and another one for him. He's loving it. He's absolutely loving it. Every game he plays, does he play well? And he's took that pretty well, gets in front of goal, and then all he's got to do is slot that away. And it's nice play by Fabregas just to put him in there. He's in acres of space. And that's another one for the young man. So, uh, yes, that is going pretty well. 1-0. Keep it up, please. That is what we're asking. A 
Cut out by uh, Mafia. Here's Robin. And uh, it's going through to Schwartz here. And we know what Schwartz is capable of. In fact, he's got around that man pretty well. It's Schwartz. Oh, and it's got to be. It's Robinho. With number two. And his first goal back at the club. Didn't ever think we'd see him back, to be honest. I, I, I can't really get over the fact that we've actually bought him back and bought him as easily as we did <laughs> along with Robin uh, although Robin's not a former player but yeah nice little bit of play there by um, Schwartz to 10 the uh, defender there and then just cut in gets the shot away blocked but if it falls to Rubinho like it did he's only got a toe poke it in in which he did and that is 2-0 within half an hour. And uh, you can see why Fulham are struggling this season. And I can think it might be their turn to go down. But then again, we have seen miracles in the past. We've seen Bolton stay up with winning their last four games of the season before now. So even though that just looked not likely at all. Here's Schwartz. Oh, and... We'll pretend that one didn't happen. <laughs> I think it's best. The angle was not kind to Babel, but he got the shot totally wrong. Here's Booper Diop. And that's kept out by Robin pretty nicely. Header out of the box. Jensen. Uh, and Van Dijk is all over that one. Liverpool quite liking this so far. And that's made its way through to Mafia. And that's made its way through to Rubinho. And this could be 3-0. If the cards are played right. It's Rubinho. It's Schwartz. It's free. I'm just getting major flashbacks of season three right there with that. Like, in fact, even season two with the with the Rubinho and Schwartz link up there. Just major flashbacks. Rubinho could have gone for it himself, decided not to be greedy, and that that was in true season two fashion. That 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 really was. I mean, a little bit of season three, but Rubinho, I think, left us. Wasn't it midway through that season? Oh, oh, <laughs> that, that's just great. Three nil up, not even half time yet. It could be an absolute fresh in today. Schwartz, he's making these runs though. And it's causing a lot of danger and Rubinho is making a lot of space as well. And here comes Robin and he's going to wait uh, for the head of Babel. Just a little bit. And, oh, that's a foul against Babel in the end there, I believe. Oh, well. Is Racine yet? Stopped. It's out to Babel. And is that actually going to go through? Ooh, I think it was it. Oh, I was offside anyway, but uh, Heitinger was. Um, <laughs> he, he put in a slide challenge there, which uh, shouldn't really have happened, to be honest. And there could be another opportunity here. But Babel, oh, Babel was waiting for that one. It's going to be the corner. Could this be four before half time? Rubinho's going to pop it in. And, oh, nearly the header directed on target from Rubinho. And, uh, yeah, no, don't need to be too hasty about that one. That is, well, that's a good performance so far. A lot of pace, a lot of energy about us. Finding space. Although it could be down to the way Fulham are playing, arguably. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're uh, too worried about the team selection, although we're only at the halfway stage. This job is not over yet. I don't like to think it's over just because you're uh, free up at half-time. <coughs> AC Milan. <coughs> but yeah, 
Anyway, Rubinho's going to take this free kick. And... Oh, it's the bar! What a goal. He's having a cracking game. It's a shame that he hasn't, you know, buried at least two goals so far. He could have had three there. I mean, if he had that other chance in the uh, first half. And it's Babel. And uh, he's uh, got his touch wrong there. Uh, is he going to be in trouble for that? No, nope, just gets a little telling. I was going to say it didn't look that bad. But uh, no, he's only just joined in the summer. He's looking pretty good. Every game he's played, he has not played a bad game so far. And he's scored some pretty decent goals as a uh, babble. So, uh, yeah, just uh, keep that going, please, is uh, what the fans want. And here's Czech, and he's just going to calmly take that under control. No reason to panic. And here's Babel. It's Babel. It's Babel. Oh, I mean, he got the he the placement right by the looks of it, but uh, obviously the goalkeeper was in the right area to deal with it. Would have been another one to add to the uh, collection of goals that he scored so far. I mean, he hasn't scored a lot, don't get me wrong, but um, <laughs> he's, he's, he's raking them in nearly every game he plays. His mayor, Bupa Diop out wide. Cafu's trying to stay on him. Uh, Cafu cuts that one out that time. And uh, there is a foul in there, and it's going to go against Fulham. Oh, that's bad. And Fabregas here. And he's taken off the ball. That's going to be a Liverpool throw in. Nah, it's going to go out. I think uh, Rubinho is. Ah, and as I say, it's something about Rubinho apparently gets a foul against him. It didn't look like a foul at all, though. I was just going to say, he just looks like he's improved quite a lot. And um, he used to play out wide for us. Uh, when he used to play originally, and uh, I don't know, I feel like attacking midfield is more his thing. The way he's uh, he's playing, um, just in these last couple of games. I mean, I know, you know, we've been playing against teams at the bottom, but um, I don't know. Just he looks, uh, he looks quite good in that area. AMF has always been a competitive area to get into, <laughs> but. Uh, So it's an interesting one. Here is Fabregas. And it's Babel. And uh, Babel's going for it here. And he uh, manages to get his pass away there. And here's Rubinho. And it's Rubinho. And oh, it's another one. And this time it's Fabregas. And Rubinho provides the assist. It's not bad. It's not a bad game. It's, you know, just controlled, keeping the possession, finding space, going for goal when we need to. Just what the doctor ordered to do. They might argue, looking at it from that angle, maybe that was soft. Because they had a lot of men around to deal with that one, did Fulham. And they're, they're giving the ball away a lot, though. So, I mean, that's that's obviously an advantage uh, to Liverpool. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's uh, it's not good if you're just giving possession away too much. Header, oh, maybe not. And it's out to Cafu here, who's made some space for himself. And he's going to whip the ball in. Oh, Close, but no cigar on that one. Cafu tries to put it back into the box there. Doesn't quite do that. It's Cafu again. And is he going to try it again? He certainly is. Uh, 
That's going to be a uh, throw in to Fulham that one, and it's going to be the end of Babbles' day. I was going to play him for the full match, but decided, you know, let's give him a rest now. He's uh, he's had a good day, and uh, Joe Cole is actually going to come on in his place just for these last 10 minutes. Uh, Foy is also on for Robin, and um, I believe Rubinho's come off as well for Ronaldinho. So, uh, yeah, just these uh, final few minutes to get through. Here is Foy, and he's done well here. And he's, uh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Ah, there was an opportunity there if he had maybe swung the ball in. Well, I guess not. Here is Cafu. Here's Foy. Maybe he gets another opportunity here then. He does, but it's back out. And, oof. I'm just playing it around here. It's just they just don't look like a team that uh, wants to fight to stay up today. You know, it just it's very sloppy and just doesn't appear to be much organisation about their team. If I have to say anything, I mean they don't seem to be making too much movement to to try and get themselves in a in a better position to. Try and even get a go. I mean, I know they're a beaten team at the moment, pretty much in this match. But I mean, look at that. I mean, that's that's not trouble. It will pick them up all day long. You know that 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 was like three points on a plate. That you know what I mean. Just take it and eat it. That was what it was. Game records say that Rubinho was the man of the match, and I agree with that. He definitely was. He was definitely the number one guy out there tonight. Schwartz played a great game, though. 7.5. Babel with a 7 there. Fabregas with a 7.5. Robin with a 7.5. Mafio with a 7. And Cafu with a 7. I agree. I think they all played pretty well there. Not a bad game whatsoever. Anyway, the rest of the fixtures and their results from uh, week 20 in the league. And this is what it looks like. Well, the standout one so far. Chelsea losing at home to Everton 2-1. Well, Everton, didn't they just beat Manchester United 2-1 away? Now they've beaten Chelsea 2-1 away. So that's crazy. That really is. And uh, Manchester United were held 3-3 by spares. So what an interesting week this is. Uh, Arsenal have actually lost 2-1 uh, at Newcastle. Uh, meanwhile, we've got uh, West Brom there drawing with uh, Rangers 2-2. Another interesting result. Goals galore this week. Uh, we've got Aston Villa winning 3-1 against West Ham, which uh, I think they needed. And, uh, yeah, let's move down. Where where are we? We're going totally out of order this week. But uh, we've got Wigan. They won uh, at home against Middlesbrough 2-1. And then uh, finally, we've got uh, Birmingham losing at home to We United 2. Now, I said We United should win that one, and they did. Let's look at the table now. And this is what it looks like. We United are back up to second. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a slippery slope just recently, but they're uh, up to second yet again. So, uh, yeah, uh, well done to them, I guess. Um, Spurs have actually moved down with that draw against United, but still, it's not a bad result, really, when you think about it. So... Yeah, um, if they'd have won that, they obviously would have uh, stayed second. But uh, yeah, Manchester United in fourth and Chelsea down to fifth. Usually them two are hanging around second and third each, um, at least. So yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Everton are up to six. They've had some good wins recently against United and Chelsea. So uh, you know that's that's what's let United and Chelsea down. And, uh, they slipped a little bit, haven't they? And that's why uh, Everton are in the European plus. So they're in the mix for it now. We've got Newcastle. They're up to seventh. They're only a point behind. There's uh, three teams that are on 33 points there. So uh, there's that. And then we've got Arsenal. They've slipped down to eighth, but on 32 points. So again, just a point behind. Moving down to the bottom, we've got West Brom. They're on 31. So they're not a million miles behind still either. It's really crazy, this. Uh, Rangers sit 10th on 27. Wigan are up to 11th on 22 points. Middlesbrough are down to 12th on uh, 20 points also on 20 points is Aston Villa um, and they've moved up to 13th so um, yeah they could have done with that win today and they got it so uh, yeah West Ham they're down to 14th so they're uh, slipping down but they're still 3 points ahead of Fulham but uh, Birmingham they're still on 11 points hmm 
Anyway, enough of that. Enough of all that. It's back to the Champions League in the next one, guys. And this is where it gets fiery. It gets heated up in the uh, knockout rounds. We've got Ajax there at home to Manchester United. We've got uh, Spares there at home to Inter Milan. And uh, finally, we've got uh, Barcelona against Juventus. So all interesting ties, if you ask me there. Liverpool against Bayern Munich, though in the next one join us for that next time guys correct subscribe and share as always it might have been an easy one today but i don't think it'll be so easy in the next one remember we uh played by munich was it last season and got a nil nil in the uh, home leg so it, it took us till like what was it the last 10 minutes or so of the second leg to actually do anything against them so let's see you next time correct subscribe and share as always see you then guys take care